good morning crew happy saturday hope you guys had a really good week um i'm headed to water aerobics um i really enjoy water aerobics for those that don't know um we can't record anymore so i can't show any more footage of the workouts that we do but i enjoy it and i'm on my way to water aerobics um so i just wanted to touch base and talk a little bit about what do you do I've, I've alluded to this before in terms of when you've had a challenging day what do you do when your week has been insane like full of challenges full of stresses full of struggles what do you do how do you recover how do you make sure that you're taking care of yourself so i just want to provide a a truck in front of me i want to provide like a personal example in terms of the comparison from how i would have handled things in the past to how i'm handling things now um and i think for me i've noticed the growth and i think you know it's it's helpful to really assess personally assess where you are in life and then assess um, what trials or triggers you currently have given your circumstances and how we can best navigate through those, right? So, okay. Before, I'm going to even go as far back as maybe two years ago. Two years ago. Um, so before, about two years ago, if the week would have happened the way it happened this week i would have been very depressed very hurt very much in my feelings right um it would have my um healing process or my it really wouldn't have been healing it would have been my self-soothing process would have been consumed with overeating so like ordering a lot of takeout it would have also included lots of drinking right um two years ago i wasn't really smoking like that but i may have you know i may have smoked something like a, a black amal or something um to occasionally relieve some stress right but mainly eating and drinking and sleeping no physical activity no prayer meditation journaling stretching none of that no really reflecting but more so a uh, woe is me, I feel sorry for myself type situation. FYI, I don't work for them. They don't pay me. But I'm trying this um, salted caramel cold brew today. I usually get almond milk. It is really good. And it's going to keep me awake all day. Um, this is good. So anyway. But that's what my day would have, my self-soothing or me helping myself would have would have been about. That would, that's how I would have taken it. Um, and now we transition. This week, I'm not gonna lie, even though I was off, I went away, and we only worked three days this week, I, it was an intense, concentrated high stress high emotional highly emotional week these three days have been absolutely insane right what did i do and i'm i'm, I'm sharing this um in hopes that it will help someone else rethink and re reconfigure or restructure their approach when it comes to high stress weeks and things of that nature so what did i do and i feel like it was very beneficial to me one i knew coming into this week <clears throat> that it was going to be stressful so while i was on vacation i was on vacation like i literally blanked out the events that i knew were going to come up and i'm like i'm just going to enjoy my trip with my son you know i'm gonna enjoy these precious moments and we had a wonderful amazing time they got lots of bonding lots of connecting he was a very chatty and he's not a chatty child sir son he's not a child but young man whatever you know he's not really a chatty person but he was very much talkative which was amazing so being in the moment 
when you have moments of breaks. That's important. Another thing is encapsulating. That's the word of the year. Um, encapsulating yourself, meaning before your day starts, do something for yourself. It could be meditating, journaling, praying, stretching, walking, listening to your favorite music, dancing in your mirror, like taking a shower, taking a bath, whatever you do to make you feel good, whatever you do to recenter and refocus your energy and yourself so you can be sane and whole and, you know, good in a good mental space, do it. Make sure you, you do at least one thing in the morning that is going to cover you, right? Um, and then knock your day out like a beast. Like just get it done, knock it out, keep keep it moving, take a break if you need to. If you have time to, if you need to, take a break for sure, right? And then at the end of your day, let it go. That's easier said than done. Um, but I've I've been I've been more I've been able to do that more often. I still have work on my brain, honestly. But just in terms of mental checks, mental health checks, where I'm like, okay, the day is over. Now I need to focus on myself. You know, I will go back to the past. So in the past, too, when it comes to these types of things, I would let it fester and fester and fester and fester all night. You know, so you really didn't get a mental break when you do things like that, right? So I've been more cognizant and more sensitive to preventing that right finding parameters and boundaries to prevent that and let it go boundaries are extremely important um that's another thing setting boundaries in the past and i think this all goes together honestly in the past i didn't have boundaries i would i would have myself my work cell phone on all week all night all evening all weekends and if someone was going to call me or something i would allow those calls to come through um, now, very much boundary setting. Like, my staff, they do have my personal cell phone for emergency purposes only. And I've made that very clear. And pe they have been up upholding those standards. Like, emergency circumstances on the weekends. If they call me on my work, on my personal cell phone, I know that something has happened. Because sometimes the team, they'll go out to outreach events. And then in the evening, something may happen where they need to call out and they were supposed to go to an event where they were supposed to do something important and they'll reach out and call me on my, my personal cell phone. And I pick up because these are emergency circumstances. So you should have boundaries, but be reasonable, reasonable about your boundaries, right? If you know you're in a position where you have people that need to reach you for certain things, give them that, um, that space to do so. But just make sure you have boundaries in place so you can also protect your space and your energy and you can be at your full, full potential and your full, I don't know, your full, I don't know what I want to say. Um, you could be at 100% for yourself, for your family, and then also you be at the 100% for your staff when it's appropriate right so then in the, like I said boundaries are a part of it and then also in the evenings I'll do something like um well in the mornings I do the praying meditation journaling I do all of that and I also I've been taking walks and I found those to be very very helpful because it gives me time to start doing my feelings time to mentally prepare for the day ahead um, and then it gives me the good endorphins. And then I feel so good when I take care of myself first. That's important. You have to take care of yourself first. In the evenings, it, what it looks like for me personally is sometimes I walk. Oh, lately, I haven't been walking in the evenings and that's okay. But I'll, I'll do some like meditation and stretching, listening to some, um, some relaxing music, some instrumentals, like, you know, jazz or like some like kind of mellow calming study calming meditation vibes you know what i'm saying like something like that um evenings might entail cleaning up for me 
doing laundry because that's doing something for myself even though I hate folding clothes that's still doing something for myself and my space because for me when my space is clean and clear my brain is not as cluttered and I can get a lot of other things done that I need to do personally so that helps um, I love taking baths at night I love taking baths like candlelit bubble baths with the music is my vibe I love taking baths they soothe me and then you know it's just a whole it's a whole um, experience right baths with a facial I use my steamer give myself a nice facial while I'm still listening to music have my little silky robe on my, my furry fuzzy slippers and then I cook a nice dinner that's a big part for me too that's important for me too because before what I used to do was order takeout which breaks me out which makes me gain weight which messes with my cholesterol like you know because you don't really know what they're putting in it and it's comfort food but i find that you can make comfort food in the comfort of your home you can make food that you like but in a healthier way um so it benefits your health but also it gives that taste that you need you just got to be creative with it so that's that's important to me too now i find that i'd rather cook than order takeout now like i want to cook my food most of the time like if i'm out i would rather go to the supermarket now than go get takeout which is a game changer and i think that also plays a part in your mental health too because you're doing something good for your your body you're doing something good for your soul like the actual act of cooking to some can be therapeutic and when I'm in a good space and I'm really in tune with everything I find that I enjoy the cooking I enjoy trying new recipes that are healthy but I, I like to, I like to eat you know what I mean so those things work for me um, and then just sometimes shutting the world out will help for me personally I'm just giving you ideas in terms of things you might want to try if you if you are struggling with these kinds of things and separating work and boundaries. Um, sometimes shutting the world out helps for me where I'm just not talking to anybody for the night. Now, if someone reaches out, I will let them know. Well, if it's like somebody in my immediate circle, I will let them know because I don't want them to worry. But other than that, I just protect my speak, my peace by staying to myself and decompressing, mentally decompressing from the day, right? Um, then there, but then there, then there are days where I need to vent. There are days where I need to get it out. I need to talk to someone that I trust. Um, and in those instances, I'll call them like, listen. One, you got to be mindful of, does that person have the capacity to hear what you have to say? You got to ask that too. That's important too. Like, are you good? Can I talk to you about this? Do you do you, do you have the space and energy to listen to me? Then you got to ask that sometimes too. And sometimes I forget, but I've been trying to do better with that too. Because you got to be respectful of their, their peace and their boundaries too. Um, so, yeah, those are the things that I do. Um, and I, I, I have found that the transition, like these small pieces, I think they're small things that you can do, but when you add them up, they're big. You know what I'm saying? They're game changing in terms of how it's going to help you feel better, how it's going to affect your mental and emotional health, um, how it's going to affect you holistically. And then in turn, when you are doing these things to make sure you are good, you're helping others because then you can go back at full speed ahead you're not gonna go back like at zero or negative ten trying to still be what you were yesterday like you 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 have now filled your cup up so you can give what you're supposed to give to your day so what do you do like let's say you had a really stressful week like really really stressful really like every day was non-stop full of these things what do you do to decompress what do you do to make yourself feel better as you go about the week day by day by day by day but then also at the end of the week so what i'm doing is i'm going to water aerobics with my friend i got my coffee 
you know, I got my my nice swimsuit on. I got like a nice comfortable sweatsuit on. So after water aerobics, I gotta go pick up an outfit. I ordered an outfit. I'm super excited. Um, this um small business owner, Black Boutique. She has really cute clothes. Got me a cute outfit. Um, I treated myself. Right. Uh, what else? What else am I doing today? Got. I'm getting an outfit. And then I'm gonna go sit probably at Panera, guys. It's been a minute since I've been to Panera. Okay, I'm gonna go to Panera. I have my laptop, I have my planner, I have my, my business journal and all that stuff in terms of I'm working on strategic planning in terms of what I'm gonna do next steps when it comes to my side five to nine. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna take care of me holistically. And then tomorrow, will be like a a kind of self-care day to an extent just like everybody needs a day of rest like what god said the lord said every everybody needs a day to rest on the seventh day we rest so tomorrow will be all about that that whole vibe like getting myself spiritually in tune right um mentally in tune and just mentally relaxing so that's gonna be the weekend and a monday i should be good to go um and i hope this next week is a better week than this week was. Next week is better than this week was, but we'll see. I'm gonna be optimistic about everything. So, but what do you do? What do you guys do when you've had a stressful week? Are any of the tips or things that I have shared about my week, was that helpful? Do you implement any of those ideas or do you have, do you do something else? Let me know. If you have something else unique, share with me. But if you do the things that I do, let me know and if you think what, what I mentioned to you was helpful let me know other than that I have nothing else I'm going to keep heading on to water aerobics and you guys have an amazing week and <laughs> have a wonderful Saturday have a great Saturday have an amazing weekend and just enjoy your weekend do something for yourself practice some self care do some things for yourself and that's all I have We'll touch base later. Bye, guys.